Psychology classroom is how to use theories and models as a way to assess and work through situations. So, so today I'm going to give you a little unique twist on the Kubler model stages of grief and how it can be applied to several situations, including an identity crisis. Maybe you're going through that right now. Grief, loss, any kind of change in work, any kind of unexpected change. And how when you understand where you or someone you love or someone you care for, what stage they're in, it's easier to find a peace along all the stages. So I always think of theories as models of assessment. So here are the main stages and I'm going to share a situation from nursing and how when you have a young work nurse, so these are examples that come out of the classroom, the nurses that I work with are in the hospitals right now, where they have a patient that's having a very difficult time accepting a change in their health and the nurse isn't sure how to approach it. So what I suggested to them and to the class is that often with health, if you are going from pre-diagnosis and post-diagnosis, it's an identity crisis. So you have an idea what your health is gonna be for a lifetime. And unfortunately, reality and expectations don't always meet up. So what I suggested to the nursing students is that often, and we don't know how long people are gonna stay in each of the stages, the first stage is shock shock at such a change in your body, your situation, your work. And shock is essentially the fight, flight, or freeze part of adap adapting to any unexpected change. Then someone will move into denial. This is where it's, it, they dis disassociate and they have a hard time accepting where they are. And then they move into bargaining and the idea, if they'd only done this, if they could go back in time, if there were something in their current situation, they could change, but it is reality and this is a new reality for them. And then moving into depression, actually before depression, we have anger and anger is just being upset. It, I always think about anger as externalized depression. So shock, denial, anger, bargaining, depression and sadness and eventually acceptance which can be surrender so all of us go through this on a regular basis this is what happens often when things aren't what we expect and we move up and down the stages 